Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Columbus School of Chinese here in Columbus, Ohio. My name is Donald Newman, and this is our show, Ask a Chinese Teacher. Today, the question I'm going to address is when do you use shi versus when do you use han? Uh, if you have some background, you might know that the verb shi is a verb meaning to be, is, am, are, all of these different uh, variations of the verb to be in English. This is all shi in Chinese. Han, on the other hand, is an adverb. It means very. But it seems like, especially when you're starting off, some sentences will have a shi, and some sentences will not have shi. In its place, you'll have a han. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about why that is. And the reason why this question comes up at all to us English speakers is that in English, we will use the verb to be in a couple different ways. We can use it to connect two nouns. So for example, he is a student. I am a teacher, right? I have this verb to be in the middle of he and student. These are two nouns we're connecting. When we have two nouns to connect, we are going to use shi in Chinese, just like we use the verb to be in English. However, in English, when we're connecting a noun to a description or an adjective, we also use the verb to be. So, he is tall. I am short, right? We use a form of the verb to be in this sentence, connecting a noun, not to another noun, but to an adjective or an adjective phrase of some sort. So in Chinese, when we're connecting a noun to a description of that noun, we do not need the verb shi. We do not need any verb really at all. Generally, what we want to use in its place is the adverb hatten, ta hatten, gao. I would translate to he is tall. So in English, I have to use that is. In Chinese, we don't have that verb shi. We have a hen gao. You can think of this in a couple different ways. You can think of this as a topic comment sentence, which is a very valid, very useful, very common sentence pattern in Chinese, where we have a topic as the subject, ta and then we're commenting on that subject, hen gao. Uh, another way to think of it is hen gao. This phrase itself acts like the verb, acts like a predicate. So if you're trying to search for a predicate, you know in English grammar we're taught every sentence has to have a subject and it has to have a predicate to be a complete sentence. Think of hen gao itself as acting like the de facto verb, the de facto predicate of the sentence. So at its most basic level, this is when you would use shi versus when you would use hen. It gets a little bit more complex and a little bit more difficult to kind of figure out what is it I'm connecting to what when sentences get more complex. We have more and more clauses inside of clauses and so on and so forth. But this is the basic idea. If you're connecting a noun to a noun, use shi. If you're connecting a noun to a description, you'll want to use hen instead.